How long does it take to get to Mars? Imagine boarding a spacecraft bound for Mars, the red planet humanity dreams of colonizing. You say goodbye to Earth, look out the window, and watch our blue world grow smaller and smaller. And what if I told you that throughout this entire journey, you'd be just one mistake away from death in the frozen vacuum of space, and that the length of the trip could determine whether you make it alive or not? Mars seems so close when we look up at the night sky, it's our neighbor, the next step for humanity. But there, as a dark secret about the journey there, that NASA does in ET like to advertise. A truth about the dangers you'd face while drifting through the emptiness between two worlds. During the trip, you'd be exposed to deadly cosmic radiation. Without Earth's magnetic field for protection, high-energy particles would pass through your spacecraft, damaging your DNA cell by cell. And the longer you spend in space, the greater the chance that something goes terribly wrong. But here's what makes it even more unsettling. The distance between Earth and Mars isn't constant. The planets are on different orbits, moving at different speeds. There's a specific launch window, an opportunity that opens only every two years, and if you miss it, you could be stuck waiting in space. If you're restarting to realize that traveling to Mars is far more dangerous than it looks in the movies, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to learn more about the real risks of space exploration. Here's what will truly keep you up at night. For the entire journey, you'd be completely isolated. If something on the ship broke, if you got sick, if a micrometeoroid punctured the hull, there would be no rescue. You'd be farther from help than any human has ever been, a castaway drifting on the cosmic ocean. The truth is, a trip to Mars takes between six and nine months, depending on the planet's positions and the spacecraft's technology. That means half a year floating in the void, exposed to radiation, isolated, vulnerable. And when you finally arrive, you'd have to survive on a frozen, toxic desert until the next return window. Did you like the video? Then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.